In our previous video, we saw how to interact with Git on the command line. In this video, we're going to see how to do many similar things, but using the Android Studio IDE. We'll practice many of the same commands like git commit and git push, and we'll also see the impact of doing the command line operations we did in the previous video on our Android Studio environment. So first, we remember that this terminal view is just like a command line, and any of the commands that we ran in command line, we can run in the terminal view as well. We also know that we're adapting this example unit test file here, and once again, we're not worried about syntax yet. We just want to be aware that we're making a change of some kind. So I'm going to I'm going to paste add two and three equals five, and if you look closely, you'll notice that there's a bit of shade here, which indicates that this file has changed. So I'm going uh, we can't have two functions with the same name though, so I'll change this to add three and three equals six, just so that we can see a change. And then we'll change the test as well, 6 and 3 plus 3, and save. Now, down on our command window here, we can say git commit. And what's going to happen here is, whoops, git commit period. What's going to happen here is it opens us up into a direct, uh, kind of like an editor where we can say what we change. So we will say add unit test for three plus three equals six, something like that. Now choose escape to take us back into command mode and then colon WQ means save my changes to this file. And there we go, we see one file change, uh, five insertions. If we look at our GitHub repository, we won't see this change just yet because we have not yet pushed it. So we can invoke a git push dash u origin master. Remember what that means. Push means push all of our commits. And then origin is the remote that we want to push to, a nickname for the remote. And then master is the branch that we wish to push. So username. And we get a little confirmation. Now let's take a look as we refresh. Note the last commit and I, I, put, I uh, refresh and take a look and you see that the commit that we just made, we just pushed up, and sure enough, we see this reflected on our GitHub My Plant Diary queue. Now you might remember in a previous video, I created a different remote repository. I did not push to that repository, so I can refresh here and you see that that latest commit did not get pushed because this is the repository called My Project, not the repository called Origin, and we specifically were pushing to Origin with this commit. You see right there. Now you can lose, use the command line if you want, but you don't have to. Let's add one more unit test. And oh, by the way, note that since I've done this commit, note the shading has gone there. I did mistakenly do a undo redo, so you do see a bit of shading here, but essentially it's saying, okay, this is now part of the commit that we just made. So let's see how we can do this with some user interface tools that you might prefer over command line. Some people like the command line, some people like the user interface, so we'll show you a little bit of each. So let's say, uh, I'll tell you what, we'll do fun add and we'll say four and three equals seven. And once again, we'll say expected as seven and then actual equals four plus three. And we'll save and you notice once again, a little green shading to note that this has changed from what we know exists in our Git implementation. Now we're not gonna use command line. We're simply going to right click and mouse down and choose Git. Now, I right-clicked uh, a couple notes. First of all, I'm in the Android look and feel, if you will. Uh, so if you're not in that, you can select it from this drop-down up here if you are indeed using an Android project. Secondly, I right-clicked on the app directory, and that's how I get to this git command. Now, let's say if you don't see that git command there, you might not have done what I did in a previous video, which is go to VCS, and then... Uh, there's an option to check out from version control or add to version control. I've already walked through that in a previous video, so I won't walk through it now. But you do have to import your project into GitHub uh, or at least set it up to use Git before you see that uh, Git option that we have here. So nonetheless, I made my change. I right click on Git and I choose commit directory. And what it will notice is it will pick out exactly the file that it notices changed. And it will even show me here uh, what has changed on this file. Little kind of squished up view here, but nonetheless, uh, we can take a look and we can see what's changed. So let's say add unit test for three plus four equals seven. Very similar to what we did before on the terminal view, just here we're doing it inside of a user interface. 
Now for commit, I'm going to choose commit and push, which means commit this to my local directory, but also push it out to my remotes. Now, one subtle thing that's worth looking at here, take a look at this master origin master. We know what we're saying is that we want to push our master branch from local to a master branch on remote. But note that this is clickable. You see, when I click this, I can choose my project, which is a remote I set up on command line in a previous video. So even those things that we do on the command line, like get remote, add my project, and then that URL, even those things uh, do come up and appear here in Android Studio. As a matter of fact, if I wanted to skip the command line entirely, I could choose add remote here, create a new remote repository like we have here, and then take the URL from that and plug it right into this user interface. I won't worry doing, about doing that since I've already created a second remote, but nonetheless, you see a lot of those things that we could do on the command line, we can do here in the user interface as well. But what's handy about this is we can always swap and say, I want to push this to the My Project remote, and it's going to show me all the changes that I've not yet pushed to that remote, or I can go to the default origin remote, and it shows me I have only one change and then I choose push. We get a message indicating the push is successful. Go to our GitHub, hit refresh, and sure enough, there's the change that we just made. If I want to update the My Project repository as well, it's very easy. I just go down here to Git, repository, and then I choose push. And from here, once again, I can change it to My Project, and it shows me that I have three outstanding commits for that. And a quick check of that project's history shows that sure enough, it does not have either of these two commits that are pending, so let's go ahead and push. And after we get a success message, we navigate back, hit refresh on our other remote, and sure enough, we see that that is now synchronized. And thus, it now has all of the commits that are on the local version control system as well. So I hope this video on Git in Android Studio has been helpful, and I look forward to reading your comments. Thank you.